Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Binman and today you are tuned in for another Three Ways Wednesday. Today we are talking all about faux leather skirts. I was very obsessed with faux leather skirts in the fall season and this was my favorite one that I tried on and obviously purchased. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft. I believe it is on super sale right now, so if you like this style, I would definitely check it out. As always though, you do not have to own this exact skirt in order for this advice to work. Just take these tips and tricks, apply them to the faux leather skirt that you already have, and even faux leather pants would kind of work as a substitute for a lot of these rules as well, and just have fun with your wardrobe. So let's get started. Outfit one, I am, okay, I have a confession. I'm very obsessed with the color mustard. <laughs> Without fail, every time spring rolls around, if something comes out in mustard, I'm like, yes, this is the color I've been waiting for. I love it so much, especially with my lighter hair. I feel like I can really wear it. So I'm very excited to be wearing this specific sweater with my full leather skirt. Why does this outfit work? Where can you wear it? Why do we like it? So let's get into it. This outfit works because we're playing with tone on tone. We have a mustard sweater with a little bit of white pattern. We have a caramel colored faux leather skirt and then we have some suede short boots that are in kind of a lighter brown color as well. So we don't have anything that specifically matches but everything from the same tonal family, which I think really works and makes it really fun, especially with the bold pattern that's going on on top. It's almost a buffalo print or like an abstract buffalo print. It's almost a plaid. It's almost, almost, almost something. It's so large. When you're going with a really large pattern, it's important. <laughs> that it looks good on your body because sometimes a teeny tiny print will not look good and sometimes a really large print will not look good and sometimes it really depends on the cut of the clothing. I like that not only is this a really large print but it is kind of a boxy large sweater. Because it is boxy and cropped, make sure that you try on your outfit before you leave like before you get ready for your event because this sweater does not work with a lot of things in my closet simply because the rise of whatever has to be a little bit higher in order to satisfy the cropped part of this. If this sweater was longer with this big bold print, I don't think it would work as well. And if the sleeves were not kind of like this bell shape or this blousey shape, I also don't think it would be as fun. So this is a really fun, casual sweater. Yes, this is a little bit more dressy. You could absolutely wear it to the office, but it is definitely more on the casual side just because it is so boxy. I've also decided to kind of play into that big pattern with these really big earrings from Nicklin Suede. I've spoken about Nickel and Suede before. If you have ever had a problem with wearing earrings, and especially big statement earrings, then these are going to be kind of your go-tos. They come in lots of different colors, lots of different textures. I will make sure I link them below. They are awesome. I have a ton, lots of colors, lots of textures, and I'm constantly trading them in and out depending on what I'm wearing. And I especially wear them in the summer when I need a little bit more attention to my face rather than the clothing. Anyways, so we've got a big bold earring, a big bold pattern, and then we need to keep everything else really simple. <laughs> so this skirt is great. Even though it has a lot of detailing with the utility pockets, it still works because it's not distracting from the sweater and it's also really nice because they are functional pockets so you can like warm your hands in them if you get a little bit cold. Or you can also stick your phone in there or crayons or whatever you need to stick in your pockets. So where are you wearing this to? 
it is a little bit of that casual elevated vibe. So I would say you can wear this pretty much anywhere. You can definitely wear it to the office. The skirt is definitely office appropriate. If you need to add tights or leggings underneath, please feel free to do that. You can definitely change out the height of the heel if that makes you uncomfortable or more comfortable, that would also work as well. So business casual, Zoom calls, pickups, drop-offs, errands, anything, brunch, you're good to go. This is going to be an outfit that I'm wearing quite a bit come spring when the weather gets warmer. So that is outfit one. Outfit two is a great one for the office, casual business, things like that. You're meeting up with a girlfriend, you want to be a little bit more elevated. It is really a great one for anything because the sleeves and the elastic around the wrist, thank you ever Eve, like you could do anything. Anything that you can do in outfit one, you can do in outfit two. Just a little bit more elevated because we replaced the sweater with a blouse. We are playing with pattern again, a little bit more on the subdued side, but the shoes are the same, the skirt is the same. Changed out the necklace because we had ginormous earrings, which you could absolutely wear with this to kind of add a little bit more of that creative artistic vibe. But if you want to go a little bit more businessy or a little bit more elevated, sophisticated, then I would go with a really simple necklace. This is a triple strand necklace from Kendra Scott. Got it at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year, wearing it all the time with blouses like this. This blouse has a really muted color palette, which is nice, but it does have that tan, so it pulls out the caramel in the skirt. So everything, again, is talking to each other. We've got a couple different textures going on. I've added a gold ring, kind of a statement piece, and Everything just goes, nothing is really distracting the eye, although anytime you're wearing a pattern, that is where the eye is going to go first, unless you're wearing something white. I'm not wearing anything white, so your eye is definitely going to go to the blouse, which has a v-neck elongating the body, and you're going to see the necklace, which adds a little bit of shine, and then the focus goes to the face. So, where are you wearing this? Again, anywhere you're wearing outfit one, two, you can wear this, plus maybe like giving a talk or anything where you need to be a little bit more on that elevated side. So that is outfit two. Outfit three is the classic choice. So it's the no brainer, but it's also the most elevated because we've added in that white button down shirt. I did a few videos on the white button down last month and it is back and it is going to keep coming back because you can pair a white button down with so many things. If you haven't gotten one yet, go try on something and it is just shocking how many things it actually works with and you do start to feel very sophisticated when you put it on. <laughs> So if you need that in your life, I would highly recommend going out and getting one. I have changed absolutely nothing except for the shirt from outfit two. I've kept the same necklace. Could you go more glamorous? Absolutely. But I wanted to keep everything really, really simple because I just wanted the eye to bounce up and down. And I'm also feeling like something that I need in March, especially with school and spring break and just the craziness of life is simplicity. I need a little bit more simplicity in my wardrobe and in my styling and it doesn't get any more simple but elevated than a white button down. So white button down shirt, awesome. In the tunic style so no matter what I'm doing it's not moving which is so great. It's not going to pop out which I do personally have a problem with. I'm 5'7", and I often like my skirts to be a little bit on the roomier side just because they can be a little bit longer. Um, so sometimes finding the correct shirt length can be a little bit challenging. So if you are in the same pool as me, then I would definitely try a tunic shirt for your white button down. It just makes a world of difference. This one is a little bit on the boxier side, but I kind of like that because all of my skirts are kind of a shift A-line, 
So creating that different proportion is really interesting. It also doesn't make me feel so businessy, like I should be in an office wearing this. I just, it feels a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more cool, and a little bit more like I can wear this just hanging out at home with the kiddos versus I need to go like type up a report or something like that. Full leather skirt, so good. Adding a little bit of that texture detail and a little bit of the detail with the pockets. Simple jewelry, same gold statement ring to match the gold necklace. And then my regular silver jewelry. And then of course the Mark Fisher shoes. How can you dress this up? How can you make it a little bit more funky? Adding a really cool coat. You could add a denim jacket and this, that would take this from like cool European vibes to a little bit more casual, but it would still work and it would still be really cool and you added in another texture level. You could also add in a colored jacket or a pop of color with your bag. That would be excellent. Or you could keep everything, again, really nice and neutral and easy, <laughs> which is, I think, what a lot of people are looking for in the spring um, before we get like color and pattern for summer. It's just a little bit more ease. So keeping all of your accessories on the more muted side, everything's talking to each other. You don't have to think, you just grab, you go, you look amazing. So where can you wear this? Again, you can wear this anywhere. I would wear this literally anywhere. Going to the library with the kiddos, drop off, pickups, running errands, um, having people over for dinner, going out to dinner, a white shirt just allows you to go from cooking in the kitchen to having wine with friends at your restaurant. So that is outfit three. Thank you for watching another Three Ways Wednesdays. These are some of my favorite videos to do because it really makes me think outside the box and it makes me push myself to grab things that I already own and put them together. It also makes me realize what I'm missing in my closet. If I can't do a three ways with something that I really, really love and want to continue to wear in different ways, then I know that's something that needs to go on my shopping list and I'm not going to end up with the exact same thing that I've already purchased. So that is kind of the point of these Three Ways Wednesdays. It's supposed to inspire you. It's supposed to just give you some styling tips and advice and also to help you when you do go shopping with what do you actually need so that you don't end up with five of the same things you need, those complete outfits. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and Mondays are a little bit more specific tailored to events or specific beauty issues or advice for you. So thank you again for watching. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye.